use it, use it on your on our door tools, use it all the time. Wouldn't that work? And I was like, I mean, probably. Hey, everyone. We are going to talk one more time about tubular picks. There'll be a series of videos coming up, actually, to discuss uh, some tweaks and things and actually using them uh, in ways that there's not a lot of good tubular picking guides I've found online. So that's coming up soon. But right now we're going to talk about handles. Uh, as, as we mentioned, over the years, you know, the, the sort of older generations of seven pin only pick were supplanted by the Richard Stapleford design, the seven eight convertible. And for the longest time, it had this very, you know, chunky boy handle because you want a good grip on the pick. Uh, very large, hard to put in your kits. The chop down, sometimes called covert handle, became the standard. That's still how all of ours ship. They all do include this handle. But as you know from recently, the quick detach version is what we're making now. And if you want to, you can go out and get yourself, you know, a, a, qu a quick connect handle because I think that's more ergonomic and obviously multi-purpose. But most people, when they get the pick, it has the turn down end and the small covert handle, which can lead to one little frustration. So naturally, this hollow void, this inner diameter right here on the existing handles, well, that's designed to accommodate what once was a full thickness of shaft, right? This shaft used to have this diameter all the way out to the tip. Not a problem back then, but now, because our shaft is, you know, machined down, it does not fit snug in that handle. If you try to assemble your pick right out of the gate and you start setting this screw and setting the screw and cranking down and cranking down, you're like, man, where am I ever going to hit this? Sh well, yeah, you'll hit the shaft eventually, but you'll notice it's a little bit off center. It's a little bit tweaked over to one side. Uh, not everyone likes that. It's perfectly functional. I don't think it really impacts the you know, how it works. But if you're like me and a bit of a perfectionist and that annoys you, you're like, oh, damn, I wish, what, what can we do? We are probably going to make future runs of this uh, small handle, the included handle, smaller. I mean, we'll actually make this ID, this inner diameter, smaller, you know, to work with our new size shaft. In the meantime, though, I was looking at it. I was like, man, can I, well, can I do something to take up that space? I was thinking about shoving a ballpoint pen, you know, barrel down there. That wasn't quite right. I was looking through, like, my, I have all this, you know, plastic tubing around the house for various things and rubber tube. And I was like, well, this one, you know, that's kind of, too. this won't fit here. This will fit in here. This won't fit in here. Like, and I was just, you know, I was playing around with parts. And I was actually on the phone with Jeff uh, at Hardcase. And I was, I was explaining, I said, oh, man, I hope that in the future you can make these a little bit smaller. That'll really help us out. I can't find any kind of rubber tubing or anything or any pieces that I can take up space in there. And he kind of blew my mind. He was like, well, what about heat shrink, Dave? I mean, you use it, use it on your inner door tools, use it all the time. Wouldn't that work? And I was like, I mean, probably. So, yeah, uh, that absolutely works. What we're probably going to do is start including a small chunk of heat shrink. Uh, if you can't see where this is going, I'll just do it for you really fast on camera. So there you go. In my experience, two or maybe three uh, bits of heat shrink, that makes that pretty nice and snug going in there. And now when we set this screw... That'll cinch down, and there you are. You're kind of dead ass in the middle. So the included parts will be perfectly aligned, uh, if that's you know more pleasing to your eyeballs like it is to mine. And when you do decide to get some kind of quick attach handle, uh, obviously stripping that heat shrink off of there, not a problem at all. You take this handle off, you slice the heat shrink off, you never think about this handle again, and then this is in your kit, and there you go. So yeah. That's that's pretty cool, I think. It's a stupid, simple solution. That's I'm always a fan of that. You know that about me. I'm also a fan of giving things away. I don't think I have in the last uh, video about, you know, uh, go bag stuff. I should have given away one of those snoods or something. But, uh, you know, this the, the URL, right? You, the giveaway. What's the giveaway this week? Um, you know what? I'm going to give away one of these handles because we said not everyone uh, sometimes gets the handle included. Uh, these are on the site, I think, but if you would like, I really like this little quick detach handle. I, I really think it's a great thing for most of the bits. It's what I have in my bag now, the little stubby guy. It feels great. Um, that's going to be the giveaway. So yeah, hit me up with a little sign up. I will email you if you're the winner 
and look out for more tubular pick content in the near future because I've got more tips and tricks coming at you very soon. Stay safe out there.